In London. Three weeks before the fight, Ali is in serious training prior to leaving for England. Ali is not taking Brian London lightly and has already trimmed down to a sharp 211 pounds. Let's look at this great heavyweight champion train for a moment while the enthusiastic crowd watches in amazement. was twice snatched from Mohammed by the boxing establishment, who prevented him plying his trade as a fighter for three years because of his refusal to serve in Vietnam. Now, as anyone with ears can hardly have failed to notice, he is back and ready for another shot at the title he never lost in the ring. His presence in a shabby gym in downtown Miami is proof of his contention that boxing needs Mohammed more than he needs boxing. He bestows grace on a tatty sport. People who know nothing of the fight game come to see him do his thing. His two-hour workout is his own personal daily homage to his body. And he is beautiful. Michelangelo's David come to life. Half years. In October of 1970, he finally gets a boxing license to fight Jerry Quarry in Atlanta, Georgia. Keep dancing and sticking. Sidestepping. Bounce him off the ropes. Dancing and sticking. Beat him all night. Time out by seven rounds. Right. He won't be so game in seven rounds. Right. Time out. Bring him home. Get my legs ready. I'll be dancing all night. Right. Dance is heavyweight of all time. Right. Ten. Right. Passes with the rope. of Clay's hands on the light bag is always a thing to behold, always a thing to... But the past 15 years has produced the most exciting, the most marvelously unpredictable, by far the most innovative, and unquestionably the fastest world heavyweight champion in the history of boxing. He is the magnificent Muhammad Ali. Mm -hmm. On the punching bag, Clay likes to vary his rhythm. The big question to be answered, can this man shake off three and a half years of inactivity? He knows he will be going against a relentless three-minute punching machine in champion Joe Frazier. He's about 14 pounds lighter than when Ken Norton broke his jaw and won the fight in San Diego last March. coming out, getting your legs in shape, getting your wind, 
And we get up every morning. This is the most important thing about a fighter. You see those large boots he have on? We travel with those because uh, lifting the weights fill up, build the ankles and the legs and everything. When you take those off and put those boxing trunks on, you have a little, two little invisible wings, I would say. Fighters like to get up in the crisp air and go out and run. Uh, everybody has different methods of running. The champ has his own. He likes to jog and he goes backwards, sidewards, he goes all over the place. But the important thing is that he's on his legs and he's uh, conditioned in his legs. heavyweight champion remains as confident as ever and according to him he is even younger it has been proclaimed the fight of the century and so it may be it is the stuff of which promoters dreams and fortunes are made a brilliant boxer against a vicious slugger it is certainly the boxing payoff of the century satellite and closed circuit television will beam the fight live to three million cash customers throughout the world including 90,000 of them at 4 a.m. in Britain each fighter will receive more than a million pounds. The promoters, drawn fittingly enough from the world of show business, expect to bank at least double that. Mohammed has no doubt about the fight's place in the cosmic order. to be seen whether those same qualities will be there to deal with Jerry Quarry in Atlanta. If they are, it may not be long before Muhammad Ali is once again undisputed champion of the world. Part of the United States overrules the boxing commissions and draft boards in a sweeping decision, permanently upholding Ali's moral position and personal honor. The court cannot... Now on Saturday, August 26th.
22nd, Mark. First round. Saturday. August 26, 1978, Muhammad Ali Jim, Dillay Pennsylvania. First round comes in. in. Good job. Anybody as a fighter today has something special to give. You just can't tell him to do that or that never was like that with him. I could never tell this guy at any time, you go ahead and box ten rounds. You know what I mean? It just uh, you don't do that with him because like anything else, uh, you you don't contain atomic energy, you assist him. Oh yeah, he's different completely. He's different than any fighter that I've ever handled. He's different in every way. He's different that, uh, in the ring and out of the ring. In other words, this is a guy to me that will go down in boxing history as the greatest headweight of all time. He isn't just a, a fighter, he's a super fighter. champion has been working much with the heavy bag to get his hands in shape. He did not do this for the Shabalo fight and paid dearly for it. Watching the workout. Hi. Hi. 